is Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch Rebel Trooper. Um, he is number 69 in the Black Series wave. Um, arguably one of the more anticipated um, Black Series releases ever since his announcement um, about a year ago. You know, we have our Imperial Stormtroopers, Imperial Troopers. We have a lot of troopers, but we don't really have anything uh, in terms of um, troops from the Rebel Alliance. And this was really the first uh, release in the Black Series line that really focused in on the classic Rebel Trooper look from Star Wars A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and of course, uh, Rogue One, where these Rebel Troopers did battle in that final scene with Darth Vader that everyone loved <laughs> from the movie. Uh, this Rebel Trooper is actually based off of the Rogue One version, which I thought was super awesome. Before we take a look at the figure itself, let's take a look at the box. Standard Black Series box here. Generic, uh, generic artwork here of a Rebel Trooper. Looks like an older gentleman, actually, which is interesting. Again, he's number 69 in the series. And for his description at the back, let's zoom in here if you guys want to see. Drawn from many home worlds and species, Rebel Troopers were the Alliance's frontline soldiers in the war against the Empire. They defended the Alliance's leaders on countless worlds during many operations and changing uniforms and tactics to meet each challenge. So pretty generic. Um, pretty generic description here of Rebel Trooper. This guy, this figure, essentially functions as a uh, army building release. Um, you would probably be picking more one or more of these guys up for your display on the shelf. In fact, I picked up a second Rebel Trooper. Um, this one from Amazon. I found this guy sitting on the pegs at Walmart, which was a rarity, but I did pick up a second Rebel Trooper. Uh, just to have on display as well because you can't have just a single Rebel Trooper is similar to um, You know, you can't have a single Imperial Stormtrooper. So He's definitely gonna be uh, Highly sought after by collectors just for army building and if you look at the figure itself, I'd say he is highly worth it um, quick look at the accessories itself uh, he comes with a um, the Death Star plans as one of the accessories, which, again, when I when I said before, this guy is based off the Rogue One version of the Rebel Trooper. That's why, like, you know, at the end, the end scene when he was facing Darth Vader, uh, the guy that poor poor dude got got killed by uh, Vader holding the Death Star plans. This is the guy, I think, uh, which is pretty interesting. He comes with a standard blaster and also a removable helmet that fits relatively well. And I, I would say is pretty screen accurate to what you what you remember from A New Hope and all the old classic Star Wars movies. Let's take a quick look at his photo real face. Again, with photo real, nothing really to complain here about his uh, about the paint applications, everything. Uh, again, he's based off a generic old actor, old gentleman here. But I think it just works well for a Rebel Trooper friends here. Really nice. Nothing to complain. Great job, Hasbro. In terms of the articulation, I mean, it's pretty basic articulation in the Black Series line. Um, single jointed elbow here. Mine's is pretty, pretty hard for whatever reason. Maybe it's just my figure. But, you know, it, it does its job. You can get him in a wide variety of poses. Ball jointed, um, boy jointed, ball jointed waist rotation, swivel thigh, double jointed knees. You see here, pretty basic black series articulation. He's got a separate vest piece here, which I thought was pretty nice. Um, it kind of reminds me, actually, the chest piece and the vest here of the General Leia Episode 7 Black Series release. 
Maybe it's a remold of some kind. Maybe it's a, or they're just reusing some of the parts. Um, but either way, it works really well for the figure. I have no complaints about the articulation. Again, pretty basic articulation here, as you would expect from the Black Series figure. He does come with a separate holster as well. Now, I did have some difficulty getting the blaster to fit into it. I got to really jam it in there, which kind of kind of is annoying and the blaster kind of gets in the way of the elbows and the arms as well let's put the helmet back on here again uh, a no frills type of type of figure from Hasbro really really nice uh, his hand also comes with a trigger finger here in case you're wondering I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed adding this figure to my collection a lot I think it was something that was necessary um, for sure, ever since Rogue One, I've been looking to add the Rebel Troopers into my display for the sole reason of replicating, let's get this guy to stand here, for the sole reason of replicating that scene from Rogue One, when Darth Vader walks down the aisle and starts killing <laughs> all of the Rebel Troopers. Um, you know, I, I just love that scene from Rogue One. I thought, you know, if we're not going to get a Darth Vader uh, movie of any kind, dedicated Darth, movie, Darth Vader movie, and I know the, the prequels and the original trilogy were basically all about Darth Vader and his story, but, you know, you just can't get enough of Darth Vader. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. But, you know... Just really cool to have Vader here on display with a Rebel Trooper at his mercy. So there you go, there you have it. That was a very quick look at the Star Wars, the Black Series 6 inch Rebel Trooper um, in the 6 inch scale. Um, out of a rating of 10, I would give this guy a 10 out of 10. Again, I thought it was absolutely necessary to just have a Rebel Trooper in the 6 inch line. Uh, for all the army builders out there to balance out um, the display. Um, definitely highly recommend if you're collecting a Black Series line to pick up a couple of these guys up. Um, I know he's going to be scalped for sure. In fact, he's already been scalped a lot. He's been pretty hard to find at retail. So if you do see him on the pegs, pick him up because I guarantee you, you won't see him um, for a long time. Just a classic, classic, no-brainer addition to your Star Wars collection. What do you think about the Black Series Rebel Trooper? Let me know in the comment sections below. Are you going to pick him up? Uh, do you Are you going to display him with Darth Vader like how I am? Let me know. I'm interested to hearing what you think about the Black Series line, how your collection is going. Make sure you give this video a like as well and subscribe for more great content to come. And until the next time, may the toys be with you.